You can come to me for honesty. Good 2017 vibes are returning. Let's see, here's the meme. The 2017 vibes, even though I don't even know what those mean. It's a... And he's giving me fifteen and being a jerk. So let's go ahead and let's read his message and tell him he's a jerk. He says, You know, Phil, since you're having financial problems, you ever consider not eating out and canceling all your digital subscriptions completely? Tomorrow I'm going to be out all day. I have to be. I have appointments. I have errands to run. I have all these things. All right. Now, I want you to understand something. When you cook food at home, it costs money. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, Snow Carl. I, maybe you've never heard of this before. But you actually have to pay for the food that you cook at home. It's not free. Just because you're cooking at home, the food doesn't magically, like, materialize on your countertop the ingredients for you to cook and make a meal. You may, Maybe you're not aware of this. Maybe you're, like, five years old and you don't know the ways of the world yet. All right? So allow me to, to elaborate here. Okay? Um, you have to pay for food. Now, if I'm out all day, all right, What's the difference if I go and I eat when I'm out and I pay for it when I'm out? Or if I buy groceries and come home and cook the meal, it still costs money. All right? Now, admittedly, if you eat out and you go to an expensive-ass restaurant and you're paying $20, $30 a meal, that's insane. That's way more than what you would be paying for groceries to make your own meal. That's fair enough. I'll 100% concede that. But in general... If you're on a budget like I am and you go out and you go to a place that's reasonably priced and you buy things that are low to mid-level cost, you don't get an appetizer, you don't get a dessert, you just get a decent meal, you can eat for the same amount as if you made your own stuff at home. You may not realize this. So say it. I'm going to try to educate you here on my stream. All right? I. <laughs> it's pretty sad that someone who just, uh, just filed for bankruptcy has to try to, like, outline financial stuff for viewers, but I guess I have to. All right, I don't know what else to say. I guess I actually have to. You may, you know, just throwing that out there, using logic and facts instead of stupidity and drama. Now, in regards to digital subscriptions, fair enough, right? They're optional. And I tell you right now, out of all the digital subscriptions that we have, the one we use the most is Disney+. Plus, and that's why I just got rid of Netflix, I didn't want, I said, wow, Netflix, I literally use Netflix to watch Stranger Things and maybe like one or two more shows like BoJack Horseman, which by the way ended, so <laughs> so I didn't need that anymore. I'm thinking, I'm like, I really don't use Netflix that much, so I canceled it, <clears throat> all right? Completely canceled it. I'll be honest, WWE Network is probably also on the way out because I have really cut back on my watching of wrestling to the point where like... In the last month, I've seen two wrestling shows. In the last 30 days, I think I've seen two episodes of SmackDown. And that's it. And by the way, SmackDown isn't even on uh, Netflix. It's on Hulu, <laughs> which is free. So I'm, I'm strongly debating getting rid of the WWE Network too. But yeah, it's not like we have 27 digital subscriptions. We have like two. And I'm just saying, just maybe... Maybe you should mind your own fucking business. Wow. Amazing concept. Because you don't know shit. I know that everyone on the internet loves to like microanalyze the tiny little bit of details that I give you about my life and tries to think that you know better than me. You don't. And if you think that you do, you're a fucking idiot. It doesn't matter how much they say and do. This nation and its founding was very much rooted in religion. And good luck trying to historically dispute that. You would be absolutely wrong. <laughs> you know, I'm hot, so it's not working. Look. It was it glitched? It's glitched. Yeah. It doesn't work. It's breaking. Now I'm gonna I'm not gonna have enough gravel. I'm gonna have to get sand. Because this thing's all glitched out. Yeah. What the what? There's no way he could actually be hitting me with this bow. It's impossible. Look. It's completely impossible. This is garbage. This is complete garbage. The grass path is baking the gravel. There's not even a grass path down there, by the way. Look. However, is it that you can drown him? Oh, yeah. Fill this up with water. No, because he's in a boat. What a complete idiot. Uh, No, fourth out of the fifth. I'm not on banning third out of the third. Uh, Lawler Mittens... 
Did the five dollar tips is can I get them banned? I'd like to be able to hang out and chat. Lollermans, this is not the time. I'm a little fucking busy. If you can't notice, um, you need to email me at darksidefilthehotmail.com or you need to appeal to one of the other mods to look into it, and I'll let you know. But doing this during a very very hectic live stream like right now is the worst possible thing you could do. There's no chance in hell I'm stopping the stream to see if you should be unbanned. Thanks for the five dollar tip. Horrible, 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 horrible timing. Ow. No. Ow. I'm trying to hit the boat, and now I'm stuck in here with him. Oh, this is fucking dumb. Now I can't get out. He's not gonna drop. How did he hit me with an arrow there? Are you out of your mind? Are you seriously out of your mind? How did he hit me with an arrow? <sighs> why am I pissed? I'll tell you why I'm pissed. Because I just want to do what I want to do. I want to go work on the fucking mob grinder. We're 45 into, minutes into this week's two-hour stream, and I haven't worked a single thing on the mob grinder because the game is pissing me the fuck off with annoying shit like this. I don't want to be annoyed. I want to have fun. I can't have fun if the game keeps doing random nonsense like this. Cut! Oh, man. Excuse me. Bills to me a dollar. Would you be in favor of a marriage between Jasper and Rocco? Listen. Shut the fuck up about other streamers, okay? I'm tired of it. Kind of like bring it up stupid memes. Another streamer is a cat named Rocco. So now we're going to talk about Jasper and Rocco. What the fuck? I have nothing to do with any other streamer's cat. I don't want to fucking hear about it. So take your dumb ass meme and shut up. And stop derailing my Minecraft stream. Thanks. Okay. Iron Maiden to the dollars. Where's the number one recommended channel? See, Iron Maiden, I don't know. I don't care. I don't want to talk about that shit. It has nothing to do with me. I don't control YouTube. I don't know why YouTube's a piece of shit. You'd have to write Susan, I guess. Dear Susan, why is YouTube a piece of fucking donkey shit under your under your supervision? I would say the biggest risk that I took was trying to do YouTube for a living. Because I lost my job at the helicopter company. I could have jumped into trying to get another job right away. Even though there, I knew that the job market in Connecticut was terrible. Um, I could have said, well, YouTube's too risky... And I needed to just get another kind of office job like I had or maybe even work a few part-time jobs for a while until I had the opportunity to maybe get another uh, stable job. But instead, I did something completely crazy and I said, no, nah, I'm going to try to make YouTube work, you know? That, I think, was crazier than... Uh, <clears throat> that, I think, was much crazier than moving across the country to Seattle because when I moved here, I had that YouTube income. I had that pretty consistent income that I was making and even though as we know it didn't work out that that would last forever sadly because of a lot of fucking reasons um you know the judgment that I made was based off of the knowledge that I had at the time okay so no I, I think more of the risk was doing doing internet content creation as a job in general was made way more risky or oh god well my twitter just completely screwed up yeah, I don't know what happened. My Twitter screwed up. I see. All right, I'm reading right now how we begin here. Okay, I need the stacks of sand. I'm reading this right now. Place sand and gravel under your feet using about 155 to 160 sand gravel blocks. You want to stop when you get to an elevation of Y... Y215, Y220. Stay up there and use crouch so you don't accidentally fall off. Oh my god. Okay, you're for real about this. Now the cast is made. Destroy the blocks covering the tops of the lava. Okay. Wait, that didn't work. Oh shit. Did that fuck it up, dude? I think I just fucked up, dude. I did. Oh no, I ruined it, didn't I? I think I was supposed to grab the water first. Oh no. Look what's going on right now. Remember I keep telling you guys the controller desyncs constantly? Oh shit! Woo! Take the plunge, baby. That was fun. Oh no, it fucked the water up. 
I can't get in the column at all. How do I get in there? It doesn't work. Look. Walking and crouching. I can't get in. The oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Papa Vera. Thank you, everyone. It looks like Lawler Mittens is the top contributor because no one really tried to compete or anything this week. I'm shocked. Usually, usually at the very end of a, a Minecraft stream, we get several people who try to compete. But uh, it didn't happen this week for whatever reason. Um... So it just looks like uh, Lollermittens will be the top contributor. And so Lollermittens, you've been unbanned, by the way.